Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to factory reset your Gigabyte G7. In order to factory reset it, um, this video is gonna be resetting through the settings. And what's important about it is that um, if you don't have access to your account right now, you won't be able to uh, just you won't don't have access to the system you can't log in um, then you won't be able to factory reset it through this method so if you want to do it without kn uh, knowing the password to your account um, what I would highly recommend is um, watching a video on how to install Windows from USB Drive which I have recorded and that will help you with um, with everything here so I hope that uh, that finds you well, but if you have access to uh, your account, then this method is going to be way simpler and also less problematic. So let's get to settings, Windows update, scroll down until you can find advanced options and find recovery and then reset PC and you'll be asked whether you want to keep your files or remove everything. If you select to keep your files, it almost doesn't do anything. It only removes apps and settings, keeps your personal files. So I don't really find any purpose of it unless just, there's something that isn't working on your system, but you want to keep your personal files. So you can select that, but I'm gonna remove everything. It's like the proper factory reset. And then if you're connected to the internet, you'll have a question whether you want to download Windows from the cloud or uh, whether you want to simply uh, do a local reinstall. If there's nothing corrupted in your system, then select local reinstall, it'll be quicker. But if there's something that's not working on your system, uh, like there's a, actually some corruption going on, uh, select cloud download, it'll just install a fresh copy. Um, also, there's an important thing in change settings, which is clean data. Clean data, uh, if you select it, then it'll take hours, it may take hours to um, factory reset your laptop, but will make it much more secure because it cleans the whole drive, and so it'll be harder to recover files. So if you're planning on selling your laptop after that reset, then I would highly recommend uh, enabling clean data. But I'm not planning on selling it and I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm just gonna select it as no. Then click on confirm and click on next. After a few seconds, click on reset and wait. Um, it'll start preparing here. After that, it'll restart. It may restart several times. Don't be worried if that preparing in the blue window took longer than in my case because it usually takes way longer. Um, just wait and don't click on anything. Also what's important is to have your laptop plugged into power because in case it's not plugged into power it may break something um, because it may discharge itself in the process and you don't want that happening probably. And now your laptop is factory reset, so you can simply um, set it up or sell it. Or if you don't know how to set it up and want to learn more about it, you can either watch a video on our channel on how to set it up without the Microsoft account or just how to set it up. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.